Some Swedish researchers are growing electrically conductive wires in common garden roses. Talk about a power plant! Let's take a quick trip back to elementary school science class. That's probably where you learned about vascular plants. These are plants that have a sort of circulatory system to transport stuff like water and nutrients. The main components are xylem and phloem. The xylem is a system of tubes and cells that transport water and dissolve minerals. The phloem cells transport sugars and other molecules created through the process of photosynthesis. The Swedish researchers pointed out that this vascular network isn't all that different from an electronic circuit. The researchers took a rose, snipped the lower part of its stem and put the exposed cross-section in a solution containing electrically conductive polymers, which we call P-dot. And why do we call it that? Because it's too hard to say polyethylene dioxide triophene. The rose's vascular system drew in the solution, distributing it throughout the plant. The scientists then took a close look at the rose's stem, peeling back the outer layers. They saw that the solution had done what they had hoped. It formed hydrogel wires capable of conducting electricity. It also allowed the vascular system to continue doing its job. The plant wasn't starving. They tested another idea by infusing a plant's leaves with a different conductive polymer. When they flowed direct current through the leaf, the researchers could make the leaf darker or lighter in color. It's sort of like an extremely primitive biological display. But what does it all mean? I hear you cry out. Well, using this method, scientists could measure biological processes in plants with a precision we didn't have access to before, increasing our understanding of biology. Technologies that rely on molecules we get from plants could see a huge benefit down the road, and perhaps Perhaps we'd even be able to harvest energy from the photosynthetic process, turning plants into solar cells. Personally, I'm hoping this work will justify my new screenplay in which a cyborg rose is sent back to 15th century England to stop the Yorks and Lancasters from going into battle. Hope springs eternal. Don't forget to come back to now.howstuffworks.com every day for more on the most incredible, weird, and curious stories happening right now.